Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Norwood Sawmills HD38. Norwood Sawmills are a Canadian based company and have been in business for nearly 30 years. The HD38 is the largest sawmill that Norwood offer, so let me take you around this machine to show you all the benefits and features. As I've mentioned, the HD38 is the largest capacity sawmill that Norwood make. So this mill is rated at 38 inches capacity. That means the carriage can physically pass over a 38 inch diameter log and it has a maximum board width of 32 inches. When you move the adjustable blade guide out here, the measurement we have from here to here is 32 inches. Now what sets this mill apart from other mills on the market is the Omega shaped design of the saw head and this allows for a massive 14 inch depth of cut. When you look at the mill head on this mill, at first glance it looks a bit like an HD36 V2, but for the HD38 to achieve the 14 inch cutting depth, what Norwood have done is they've stepped the engine up. So on a normal HD36 V2, you see the orange platform will be all in one piece. Here what they've done is broken it up into three pieces and used cast aluminium arms to actually lift the engine higher up. That therefore gives you your 14 inch cutting depth. Now the guards are removed, we can have a better look in to see how the drive system works. So starting with our 23 horsepower petrol engine, that's connected to a centrifugal clutch. And from here, this drives down main drive belt and you can see the drive belt tensioner here. And this drives onto your drive pulley, which is bolted on the back of the band wheel. On each band wheel, we have an idler belt here and here. And this gives you grip for the actual cutting blade on these band wheels. These band wheels are fully adjustable as well for tracking. So the axle part of the band wheel can move from side to side on both axles to allow the correct tracking of the blade. Some of you may have also noticed that we have different blade guides, so we're going to take a closer look at that now. The blade guides on the HD38 are a completely new design compared to the older models. These blade guides use a combination of rollers and a ceramic guide. These blade guides are fully adjustable as well, so not only can you adjust the roller in and out onto the blade, you can also adjust it to have a down pressure pressing down onto the blade, but you can also angle this roller by tilting the blade guide fore and aft to actually turn the blade forward or to turn the blade in reverse to get it leveled up. Underneath the blade, as I've mentioned, you have a small ceramic guide. Up at the top here, we've got our water tank. So this provides you lubrication down to the blade. Here we have the on-off tap. So you set the flow with the tap, and then this has an automatic system that when you squeeze the throttle, it actually automatically turns on the water down to the blade. As soon as you let go of the throttle, the water stops. We have an emergency stop button here, so in case of anything going wrong, press that button in and that switches the engine off. And you may have noticed that there's no handle here to lift and lower the carriage. We now have an electric motor, and this is standard on the HD38. So as standard on the HD38, you have power saw head. That means you can lift and lower the saw head carriage electrically. So on this control box here, we have a potentiometer that speeds up and slows down how quickly it lifts and lowers. So press and hold the switch to lift the carriage, press and hold the switch back to lower the carriage. So after you cut, you can speed up the lift to come away from the cut, return back to the start end, lower it back down, looking at your lumbar scale, slow the speed down to get that final millimetre perfect adjustment and then you can make your next cut. Standard length of the bed on the HD38 is 20 foot or 6 metres and that allows you to mill a 17 foot long log or a 5.18 metre. You always lose that 3 foot due to the carriage. Also as standard you get two log rests and you get two log dogs as well. Log rests are fully adjustable for squareness of the cant of wood 
It also comes with a serrated section here that bites into your log to start with, and then this can be flipped back out of the way, so you're left with a nice smooth edge that won't mark the wood. The scale on here represents how many inches away from the blade the log rest is. So the lowest cut you can make on this bed is one inch. Again, the log dogs are fully adjustable, so these slide into the log, push down on the handle, and that allows this point of the hook here to bite into the log and pin it down. So the machine you see here is on a road legal trailer package. You can, of course, have this as a static unit as well. Whatever way you set this up, you always need to have the bed level side to side and also front to back. That allows smooth movement of your carriage. As I mentioned, this mill's fitted with the road legal trailer system. Once it's fitted, it then has to go for an IVA test, and that's performed by a DVSA test station. Once at the test station, the examiners check for the wheels, tires, the axle, the braking system, all the lights to make sure that they all conform to certain regulations. Once passed, you then get issued with a certificate, and this is a bit like a logbook for your car. So once it's passed and your certificate has been issued, it never has to go for another test again. And that is the only true way to get a road legal trailer package. Well guys, that concludes the video for the HD38. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments section below. And also please feel free to like, share and subscribe to our other social media channels. And I look forward to speaking to you again on the next Technical Tuesday.